been on me a long time. Yeah. Just wait, guys. I, I forgot my my. This is, this is pretty dangerous right here. As you see, look at look at the road. Look at the decay in the road. Look at the potholes that pe that the uh, federal government of Canada Post and the people on council at Indigenous Falls want people to walk through. Look at it's not even winter time, and you can see the mud puddles on the side of the road. You can see the decay in the road. And they want not only handicapped people or blind people of this community, but the seniors and the elderly to walk up this road. And it gets hard to snow and you don't see it. What's going to happen? Properly, ladies and gentlemen, if this road was actually done properly, which it should be 18 feet from that side to this side, that pavement is shortened. I would say a good, well, there's the edge of the road. see here. There's where the pavement should be. If, you, if my wife would point at the ground, you'll see where the end of the tape is. That's where the tape should be. Now, according to this, it's four feet to the boxes. Now, you get snow piled up 20 feet here in front of these boxes, and it's cold. And these, all these little mail slots uh, for the keys and stuff, they, they fall out or they freeze up or whatever and they want you to put a big parcel the size of a 50 inch TV in there this is where the hardship comes in ladies and gentlemen they want you to believe that people can get in their cars and drive four to five kilometers in town to buy an envelope or a stamp when they could use that money on food or a bill most people figure, oh yeah, Bill, Hydro, right? Or whatever. But you tell me, ladies and gentlemen, this is nothing to be not upset about. This is something that every community is enduring. And, the, and it's not being proper, um, properly thought out. These here, when we get our first snowfall, it's going to be this deep. Then the plow comes along if they plow it, which they don't do here. As you see, ladies and gentlemen, there's no sidewalks. And oh, it's way over there, another 20 feet beyond the road that never gets plowed. Where is the sidewalk up here, ladies and gentlemen? Where's the safety and concern to this? Why? Because Canada Post doesn't want to put out money. The lady of this post office right here behind us, where we're going to go? Okay, the lady of this post office wants to keep the post up because she at least cares for the people of the community. Canada Post hasn't even given her $400 a year that she has to take out of her pocket. Bless her soul. So people of this community that she's been a part of all these years, all these years, um, is going to be ruined now because of these boxes here. Just follow me.